Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Axie Infinity versus Avagachi. Maybe you're trying to look for a play to earn game, or maybe you're trying to look for some NFTs to invest in. Either way, let's discuss my favorite two options. Both of these projects are part of my personal portfolio, but let's shamelessly compare the two. Before we get into it though, you'll need to know that this video is the product of my personal opinion, experience, and research. Don't let my content ultimately decide what you do with your money. Aesthetics may not be at the top of your must-haves for crypto investments, but it's important for me as an artist and game developer myself. I like stuff that looks pretty and clean. Axie NFTs can have various body parts which influence their stats and cards in the gameplay. They look cute no matter the combo, especially mine, just saying. Avogachis, on the other hand, are floating pixel art ghosts. Their varying features are their eyes, their collateral symbols, and their outlines. Mine is especially striking, if I do say so myself. Axies used to float too, but they recently updated the game so that they stand instead. I liked it better before, personally, even though it didn't make much sense that they could hover. Both Axies and Gachis are adorable, but I have to give this point to Axies because I'm a sucker for plump little animals. The Axie Infinity team is developing a classic farm-looking metaverse. I think it looks really nice. The Gachiverse, on the other hand, looks so cool. The colors, the lighting, the objects, it's breathtaking. So for that, Avagachi gets a point for metaverse aesthetics. Both projects are in development and have yet to fully release their metaverse gameplay. However, the pace at which they roll out updates and keep up with their roadmaps are key to build the trust of their NFT collectors. Sky Mavis began development of Axie Infinity in late 2017 and sold their first round of Axie NFTs in early 2018. Their land NFTs at the end of that same year. For almost two years, the Axie NFTs themselves had no use case other than trading until the end of 2019 when battling was introduced. Meanwhile, the land NFTs are still waiting for their postponed metaverse, having gained five times their original value. Them's some expensive dormant land parcels. <laughs> For Avagachi NFTs, there were a handful of private sales and raffles during 2020, the same year they began development. The public sales took place during early 2021, immediately followed by a rarity farming event, which is basically a payout for rare gachis, that same month. The first land NFTs, aka Realm, sold via auction just a few months ago. With the Gachiverse gameplay already scheduled to launch about like a month from now. Axie Infinity has a much larger community due to being around longer and being played by scholars all over the world. Many depend on this game and dedicate their time to it as if it were a job. Recently, however, the community's growth has stagnated along with the development of the game. Even so, there are many who still believe in the game that it will evolve and fix all its economic issues. Avagachi's community is a little bit more tight-knit at the moment, with a fast-growing ambassador program that rewards content creators for bringing in new degens, I mean, friends. And the devs always listen to the community, letting us know that they're building it along with us until it's fully DAO-owned. At the time of writing this, Axie NFTs are selling at the cheapest 34 US dollars. The prices have been dropping like mad since I bought my Axie team like a four months ago, when the cheapest Axies were going for 200 US dollars. I haven't made back even an eighth of my original investment because the price of SLP has been minted into oblivion since then only to sort of recover in recent days, now that it's been announced that their solution to the problem is to restrict earnings even more. In stark contrast, I bought my first Avagachi four months ago for about $600. Since then, she has grown in stat points, rarity level, kinship, and XP. Similar gachis to mine are now worth more than twice what I paid originally. That's 2v1. You know what that means, friends. We have a winner. In my personal opinion, that holds no weight in anyone's financial decisions whatsoever. Avagachi is the clear winner for anyone who wants to make a good NFT buy. 
I hope you like this video and I hope that your investments go well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.